Do you ever have those days or certain weeks that I sometimes find and struggle just to be Catholic? We are being told that the Catholic Church is unwelcoming, that Catholics are bigots, we are prejudiced, we are hateful, all because we disagree with the popular social and political movements that are being pushed. But in the second reading today, St. Paul says, do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by discerning the will of God. But how can we discern his will? Well, we, we need to know him. We need to have a relationship with him. And we are all here today celebrating Mass. <clears throat> we are listening to the readings, or hopefully listening to his teachings, and we'll receive him in the Eucharist. And maybe some of us do more than just pray at Mass. We actually say prayers outside of Mass. Maybe the Rosary, um, Novenas, maybe belong to a prayer group or a Bible study. And all of these things are very good and very important. But the question is still there. Do we know him? Do we have a relationship with him? And if so, that is beautiful. And keep deepening that relationship. As we heard in the response or the, uh, we heard that we should, our soul should thirst for him. But if not, let's say we don't have a personal relationship with him, I really want you to start. I encourage you that, to form a personal, intimate level he knows you more than anyone else. He loves you more than anyone else could possibly. And through our baptism, all of us here are part of a family. We, we are part of the body of Christ. We are the church. So when our church our family is attacked by others verbally or physically, some of the vandalism that's happened to our churches, or maybe creating unjust laws they try to push. We need to know Christ and his desire for us and how we should respond. I read recently that Catholic schools are referred to as bigot-producing factories, which caused my blood pressure to rise a bit. <laughs> In the Gospel reading, though, Jesus also tells the apostles that he will be attacked verbally, physically. He will suffer by the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes the lawmakers, the Romans. And Peter responds, God forbid, Lord, no such thing will ever happen to you. He's ready to fight back, to defend him. Maybe in the same manner they're attacking Jesus, which is a natural, human, emotional response. And if you remember, when they do come for Jesus in the garden, it's Peter who pulls out a sword and cuts off the ear of the guard. And aren't we like Peter to an extent? When someone does attack our church, our family, we want to respond in like, saying, no way I would let them continue saying these things about us. 
They're ignorant. They're the ones who are prejudiced. They're the ones that are hateful. They're so blind. But what does Jesus say to Peter when he makes that comment? He says, you are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Letting our emotions take over, usually out of anger or being scared about the future. And that will only cause more division. And we know who loves division. So Jesus says to Peter right after that, get behind me, Satan. And at the garden, he tells Peter to lower that sword, put it away. So it shouldn't be what I want or we want to do or say, but what would Jesus do and say? I'm going to take you back to the 90s, WWJD. What would Jesus do? Remember the bracelets and all that? <clears throat> he approaches every situation with great wisdom and each person with great love. Again, we read in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus saying, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself take up his cross and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. He gave each of us specific gifts and talents so we may do his will, put into action by the Holy Spirit. He wants us to respond in love and a wisdom gained by forming a relationship with God the Father through his Son. He desires us to respond with the knowledge of the end game, our salvation. So let's pray that God's will for you, for us, becomes his will, becomes our own will that's in parallel with his will. Pray for wisdom. See Christ in all those you interact with, and especially those you may consider your enemies. And that is very difficult to do, needless to say. But if we want to respond in a way God wants us to, we must always be mindful this other person is a son or daughter of the same father. For the Son, a man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay everyone according to his conduct. Heavenly Father, help us to respond in love and wisdom.